This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the E10 Glowfish MA10 Windows Mobile Professional Phone. This is E10's newest Glowfish product, and it competes with the AT&T HTC Tilt in terms of form and function. It's a Swiss Army Knife kind of device. It has everything inside. You've got a GPS, you've got Wi-Fi 802.11b, slash Bluetooth 2.0, and a 2-megapixel camera on the back. And a slide-out keyboard for those of you who just love to compose long emails and text and hate to do it on screen using the touch screen. The keyboard is rather flat, as you can see, which doesn't make for the most ergonomic typing experience. However, we found that it's not as bad as you would think. The keys are nice and clicky, and the lines around the keys are raised, so you can feel where your fingers are located. The one thing we don't like is the blue backlighting on the keyboard. It looks pretty, but it really doesn't make the keyboard all that visible in dark locations. The Glowfish, like all E10 products, is sold unlocked by importers and online retailers. Right now it's new, so it's going for about $700, but it'll probably come down to the upper 500s or around $600. It's got a 500 megahertz Samsung processor. 64 megs of RAM and 128 megs of flash memory for storage, and there's a SDHC micro SD slot to expand storage. Unfortunately, E10 has been going with 64 megs of RAM, which makes for a somewhat slow experience if you've got a lot of programs running on the device. However, they've done a good job of optimizing the MA10, probably having learned from the X800, which also had 64 megs of RAM, and there's about 28 megs of RAM free at boot, which is enough to get the job done and not slow down the device too much. It's fairly responsive, as you can see, your programs, and launch applications with a bit of delay, not too bad. In terms of build quality, this is probably the best Glowfish yet. It just looks slick. We like the chrome surface finish on it. We like how solid it feels. We like the slider mechanism that's sturdy, no play. It slides firmly up and locks into open position, slides firmly down. It's got a soft touch finish on the back, helps keep it in hand. And not too many buttons. It's moving away from that Windows Mobile habit of having a bazillion buttons on, on the device. We do miss having OK and Windows Start menu keys. You get the basic call, send, and end here, and the two soft keys that are context sensitive depending on what application you're in. Volume up and down keys are on the side. This launches the included voice command software, which is speaker independent voice dialing. You don't have to record voice tags. There's the micro SD card slot here. And this side you've got the camera launcher, which doubles as a shutter button, and the power button. This is a GPS, and we've tested with Copilot. It works quite well, and it also works with other programs that are free, like Google Maps, if you don't need turn-by-turn -turn spoken directions. And you don't have to do any fiddling. You just select Use GPS from the menu right here, and it finds it's managed automatically by Windows. You don't have to know the COM port or the VOD rate or anything. Satellite acquisition is pretty fast. Right now we're indoors, so it's going to take it a little bit longer. We've just done a cold boot on the device. It's got a full Surfstar 3 GPS. This isn't an integrated Qualcomm GPS chip that you find in something like the Tilt or the HTC Touch Cruise. It's stronger. It's better at getting a fix on satellites, even in inclement weather or among tall buildings. If you're serious about navigation, it's very attractive. Multimedia features include... FM radio, streaming media player, and the usual Windows mobile tools, including Windows media player for MP3 and video playback. Core player works just fine on this device. E10 does a good job with their video drivers. It's been a sore spot with HTC's business-oriented devices, and we found the video playback is pretty good on the device. Here's the Glowfish M810 in action with a little multimedia playback. This is a QVGA video that's encoded at about 550 kbps bitrate, which is moderately challenging for a mobile device using Windows Media Player to play the MP4. And we'll switch to full screen mode. Does a very good job. Smooth, scales fine. Makes a good mobile video device.
This is a QVGA display. Sorry for those of you who are hoping for VGA, it's not here. E10 bundles a lot of software with their devices. Nice thing now is on first boot, it actually asks you which of those things you would like to install. So you only check the things that you want, which can speed up the device. It does come with SPB Mobile Shell, uh, a somewhat minimized version of that. It's version 1.5, and there's an upgrade coupon in the box to upgrade to 2.0 for $14.95. I really do recommend that because 2.0 has a lot of great features that compete with HTC's original TouchFlow interface and do a great job. And it, 2.0 actually uses more, less memory than the older 1.5 version, which is important when you've only got a 64 meg device. There's a little RAM utility here that helps you manage memory. I know we're making a, a big deal out of that. A lot of folks are just never really going to notice or care about having only 64 megs on the device. The Glowfish MA10 is a very cool device. It's not just cool. I mean, it's really it's a business-oriented device. We're not talking iPhone slick here. But it's a very powerful device. It has anything and everything you could possibly want in a Windows Mobile device. We wish it had shipped with Windows Mobile 6.1, given that it came out after that OS had gone golden, but... E10 has generally been very good about offering OS upgrades, so we'll assume that Windows Mobile 6 Professional that's on here will be upgradable to 6.1. But it's a solidly built device. It's got the GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a very nice sharp display, and a keyboard that's surprisingly usable, though flat. And that's the Glowfish MA10 from Mobile Tech Review.